Hi, this is Dip Dive, and we are here with Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls and the Beautiful Movements channel on Dip Dive. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. So you have this wonderful channel on Dip Dive, and it's called Beautiful Movements. Um, first of all, that is a great name. Thank you. Because it says so much about what you're you know, portraying and what that site is about. But tell us a little bit about where you came up with the idea, um, the background of it, and, and your original vision of it. Well, you know, I, I really love to entertain people, and that's what I found uh, a home with the Pussycat Dolls. I'm on stage every night, and there's thousands of fans screaming all over the world. And um, it was quite a journey of really understanding what a fan meant and what they mean to you. And I started out as such a shy kid, and I didn't know how to, to, to talk to people. I had a lot of things that I had gone through that kind of created a shell around me. And um, I had always continued to write. It was my way of kind of talking to myself, understanding myself, and kind of seeing what I had to offer the world. And um, it was finally when I broke through those barriers and, and found different ways and outlets of expressing myself um, was when I found out that, you know, fans are just the same kinds of people as me. And we're just, if anything, we're friends that, that have a passion for the same thing. I wanted a place to really express who I am and what I do and what I'm about. And so that's when I started kind of um, trying to think of a name. And it came with Beautiful Movements because I do come from dance. But there's so many different movements of expression, as in writing, there's dance, there's music, there's singing, there's spoken word, there's poems. And um, I wanted to be able to create a site where I could have all of these things involved and um, you know beautiful movements finally had its its birthplace with dip dive and ever since it's just kind of evolved and it's been a great place for me to kind of tell my story and in return really hear um, the stories of all the fans and, and the things that they've gone through and together we're able to turn all the negatives into positives Wonderful. And I know on Dip Dive, your your beautiful movements channel, you have not only webcam um, uh, videos there too, but you also have blogs and you write back to your fans. Yes, do. Yeah, which is really unheard of these days, you know, mm -hmm. with, with celebrities. And so um, tell us a little bit about, about the success stories that you've gotten from, from fans and people who have used this as an outlet for their creative source. Well, it's funny because they say when you become a celebrity, you're untouchable and you're different from everyone else. But I just never could understand that because I really just felt like a normal person. Nothing's really changed for me. Um, if anything, I'm just I have more of a voice because I have more confidence by by being able to live my passion and, and believing in my dreams and coming to this platform. As soon as I started getting all these emails and feedback, it's like I wanted to continue to give as much as I possibly could. In the beginning, I wanted a place where I could tell my story and have people write back to me. And I wanted to do like a young girls column, but the, the, um, the outlets and the people that I was trying to meet, it just wasn't happening. And I was like, well, what can I create where I don't have to rely on anybody? I can do whatever I want. And um, so that's when Beautiful Movements came about. And now I'm able to share any poems I have, any... Um, blogs that I have because you know it really did start with writing because I've kept a journal since I was a little kid and I've I've never stopped because it is um, a way for me to kind of work through anything that I'm going through and like I said like having a conversation with myself because I really never had a lot of friends I didn't know how to talk to people I was always in my shell and so with this it's a lot has changed since then it has a lot has changed since then and you know it's through those changes that I've learned like okay I know what path I had to take in order to become the person that I am now I want to be able to offer this plateau for anyone else that wants to break out of their shell, believe in their dreams, and really become something. So um, it means a lot to me to reach back to the fans because they send me these emails and they tell me their stories. And people have gone through things that I could never even fathom. But I'm able to relate because a lot of the stories are similar through things that I've gone through. Or, you know, I have a lot of involvement with RAIN, which is rape, abuse, incest, and neglect. Because when I was a kid, I did go through some things. At three years old, I was molested. And um, at 12, I had another incident. And it finally ended when um, when I was on, working on a cruise ship and someone tried to break into my room and rape me. And um, it was finally the stand. I was like, you know what, I'm not going to take this anymore. I, I went to the captain and the guy ended up being deported back to Russia. And that's when I was like, I felt so... It was, it was so hard to get through, but finally standing up for yourself, it's not easy, especially when you're, young, you're a young kid, you don't understand what's going, what's going on, what's happening to you, and you don't know how to deal with it. A lot of those cases, I'd say at least 85% is because young girls go through these things, they don't know how to deal with it, so they go to an escape, they go to drugs, they go to alcohol, some way to just get away from this reality that they're living. A lot of blogs that I get back or emails are about girls that are cutting themselves, 
thinking suicidal thoughts. They don't know how to deal with these emotions. And so I wanted to create a place because of the experiences I went through and, and knowing that I always just continued to believe in my dreams and go for my passions and put all this energy I didn't know what to do with into something positive that got me to this place of, of standing on stage and looking at all these thousands of fans and they're all clapping and screaming for me. But really, they're like idolizing me, but I just feel that I'm the exact same as them. The only difference between them and me is that um, I had a passion and I put that, I put all my energy into that in order to go somewhere instead of retreating and never living what you dream.